Okay. Okay, this is the Hegner finger joiner. So ideal to make a to make a simple box and it gives a very very professional finish. We've got four sides to a box. The sides have to be perfectly even, nicely finished, and they've got to be identical. We've got the short sides and the long sides. What we've done, we've marked the tops, and that's the only critical thing, the tops. We've marked the tops there, and then we've divided them into pairs. One pair is going to be our female, the other pair is going to be our male. And simply, the male fits in to the female. Over on the machine here, we have a height adjuster. We undo that, there, and this fine adjuster takes our cutter up and down. It's got to be the thickness of the material. It can be very, very, very slightly proud, and then what you have is this will be slightly proud, and then we can sand that off later on. And we adjust the height, the fine adjuster there, and then we lock it in place. Looking over the top here, we have a little lug, and that is our datum. That's our stop, and our material comes against the stop, and that will guide our, our, where our cut takes place. And then what we do is we, well, after we've done a cut, we would lift up and over, and the next, um, so the side of that cut would then be our next datum, and so on. I'll, I'll show it to you in a second. And lastly, for safety, we bring this little cover in and that just gives it a bit more rigidity and also stops the, um, uh, the, the, the sawdust coming up and in the, into your face. And we've also connected the vacuum cleaner to the back side of this and we've plugged this in to the vacuum cleaner so that when you turn the vacuum cleaner on this machine comes on so you, you don't really want to operate it without the vacuum cleaner because it will clog up. The vacuum cleaner is perfect, it takes all the, uh, all the material away. Okay, I'm just going to do a couple of cuts and show you how easy this is. Remember, our front or our top always goes against our stop or our dating. made a cut here, that was our datum, this is our new datum and I'm going to lift that in and push it along and there we are there once again this is our top, we turn it over, our top goes against the datum. There we have the male. I'm going to do, this is the opposite, it's got to be identical. So once again, that goes against the datum. Now this is the bit that sometimes gets a little bit confusing. This is our female. And once again, we want the top to be up against the datum, but we want it to be one notch over because if it's, if it's identical, it's not gonna fit in. Well, we want it one notch over like that. So we use this piece here as a spacer I'll show you. That goes the other side of the datum, so this pushes up against that, and that's going to give us 
that's going to give us our... The top is facing the other way. So that's the key point there. That's the yeah. key point. That, that, they come together. That is a, that, we're just using this as a spacer so that it's going to be the, it's going to become the female. We can now put this to one side. It's done its job. And you can see that's gonna, that is going to go, fit in there like that. Now we're going to use this part here up against the datum. Once again with the top always facing the, 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 the stop, the datum. There you go. That is going to be a nice tight fit in there. And th that's basically it. That's it. The only, I guess, confusing part, get out of here, you. <laughs> the only confusing part is to remember to use that as a spacer. That's simply a spacer to allow you to take that cut out there for your female. That's it. Thanks, guys. Yeah,